Good morning, my name's Georgie Newbury and I run Common Farm Flowers here in sunny Somerset, very sunny at the moment, between fashionable Bruton and up and coming Wincanton. And I'm looking a bit rosy because I've just been for a run. I'm doing the couch to 5k, as you can see, a little bit uh, to move along here. Um, so I've thrown on a yesterday's dirty shirt, which is more attractive than the scuzzy teens t-shirt that I ran in. Uh, but secretly I'm still wearing my leggings. <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought we could have a little walk around the garden and see what's flowering in September you might like to see. Um, if you enjoy these videos then do subscribe. There's a button somewhere here and you can press the bell icon and you'll be told when we have a new video out. Uh, but I thought a little wander around the garden and um, maybe you'd like to see what we've got growing. Thank you very much. Come along. Now these sweet peas have been flowering out here since July. They were sown in February. They still, from a distance, they look all right, but actually up close and personal, uh, I wouldn't be able to crop from them. Um, for little weddings though, still just enough little, the odd stem, but not anything major. And you can see we've begun to clear the beds a bit. So these are, Biennials for next year, Sweet William, Sweet Rocket and the like. But could you see the seedlings popping up in between? Those are Chinese forget-me-nots. So as we clear the beds, I will corral those. I'm not going to waste them. And they'll give me a little crop next year. Um, the Cobia scandons are looking great now. And <laughs> I always do this. When, I, when they start to flower, I forget. And I think... Oh, they're rather short stemmed. What am I going to do with these short stems? But actually, the stems grow and grow and grow, and you end up with something really quite useful. So, uh, look, here we are. There's the there's the flower, and it goes right down there. And so, actually, you get a good long stem, but you've got to let them get going. I do love them. I think they're. They're hilarious. I love the way that colour ripens with the flower. So this will get more purple and end up looking like this later on. And I've had a very slow year for the cosmos. I'm not an enormous fan of cosmos. I think it looks quite nice in a garden and I like the way it catches the light, but it's a bit easily bruised, I think for me, but I still grow it and look at these hilarious hilarious sunflowers. If I were selling flowers at market, they'd be brilliant. I think I grew them as a bit of a experiment. They're too heavy, really, for my bouquets, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to just cut them back. I'll let them stay and amuse me from a distance. Oh, but look, here, these amaranth, these, Sorry, I'm in the light. These amaranth are on their third cut and the side shoots will flower for you and make these incredible seed heads. Look at that. So don't be frightened to cut your amaranth and then leave it and expect a bit more because you really get quite a lot out of them. These nigella have just been left to set seed. I cut them quite hard, but there's still plenty and they'll seed themselves and come back next year. And then these, this is Carolina Wagamans. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Lovely peachy color. Um, these dahlias, that we ran out of space where most of the dahlias are, so they just filled up this gap. Um, but they're quite fun. If I've got a very quick cut or I'm doing a demo online or something, I can just pop out of the studio and grab a couple. And these roses just went in this year. They took a while to settle because we had such a cold spring, uh, but they're really beginning to have some fun now. The lovely dark red is Darcy Buttle, Bustle. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what this pink one is. Uh, I'm hopeless with names, but here we have really lovely rolled doll. Just love that apricot colour. And you can see we've still got... It's September, but you know, they're still going. More amaranth, more, 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 more. The zinnias have been great this year and I've been cutting these incredibly hard and on they go. Love the Monada. 
such a great scent. I've got posies going out for a party this Thursday and um, special requests for scent. And so I'll make sure some of those are in there. Snaps have been great for me this year. I'm not the world's greatest snap for there, speak, snap dragon grower. Uh, but I may change my mind. <laughs> and my beloved Rebecca. Honestly, it goes on and on and on. It's such a great flower. Give me a Rebecca over a sunflower any day of the week. Look at that. And then more biennials. You see, as we make space, we pop the biennials in. And while we're getting 30 degree heat days at the moment, so long as I don't leave them alone and water them a bit, and they've got a mulch of Lakeland gold to stop them drying out, and they're doing quite nicely. Um, and then a little late crop of Amivas Naga, you know, just bits to take me through to the end of the year. And look, there's a dahlia that got left in the ground when we lifted them all last year and it's popped back. But I, won't, I won't mind. And then here amongst the nettles, we don't mind the nettles, that's why we have butterflies. We have more seedlings ready for planting out. And do you remember we took some cuttings the other day? Well, looky here. You can go back and look at the other videos, but there's a cutting that's taken really nicely. That looks extremely happy. Um, they're all just sitting there doing their thing, so they're okay. And those are some delphiniums for next year, which I sowed, I think, on the 21st of June. And down here we have, look at that lovely blue. Can you see the blue? That is Salvia uglinosa, my beloved blue sage, behind the Ravenna bonariensis. And the phlox has kind of had it, but in the middle of the bed, I've got, you know, I'm always chucking a bit of seed in the ground if I've got a gap. Well, look, a little bit more cosmos to take me through. It's just beginning to flower. Um, and more amaranthus at the back there. Don't want to waste the space. And here we have the dahlias. They really are having a good year. The skill with dahlias is really, really is just keep picking. Pick, 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 pick. The white glad here is amaranth, is um, acidanthra. Oh good, lots there for my white posies this weekend. They're very highly scented. They smell, you don't want to put too many in a bouquet because they make, they smell, if you put too many, it smells a bit like cat pee. <laughs> but one or two is breathtaking. Oh, look at my babies. Oh, I do love them. Look at my friends. I mean, the colors. Ah, oh, it's all you need in life, really. It's a great big long bed of dahlias. I mean, just, just, <laughs> oh, I know, I'll shut up. Very top tip. Always fence your cut flower patches with a place to put your <laughs> mug. Um, anyway, in we go. Here we have the roses. Can we have a treat? We cut them back a bit in August when they've had their first flush. And we give them a mulch. We don't really feed them. Um, I could, but this year we didn't. I'm not very obsessive about feeding. Because if they're looking all right, then they're looking all right. Um, but we do give them a mulch with good old Dalefoot Lakeland Gold. And... Don't they appreciate it? Look, gentle Hermione. Oh, isn't she stunning? Um, so all our sort of September weddings and uh, late summer flowers. We've got plenty of roses and they'll keep flowering now really right through till um, the first frosts and beyond actually. Roses are incredibly hardy. They might flower, obviously not necessarily in commercial quantities, but certainly enough to bring into the house. This is Boscobel. Hello, look at you. Oh yes, you're very beautiful. Oh yes, I love that colour. Boscobel is salmony enough to be blush. You can paint with her. If you put a bit of yellow with her, then she gets more blushy. But if you put blue with her, she becomes sugarier. Um, it's fun painting with flowers. <laughs> I've been talking about it for years. Uh, it just depends on the combinations you put together. So this is, oh, I say, what a glorious day. It's going to be another 30 degrees, which is not really normal for this neck of the woods 
for the end of the first week of September. Um, and you can see we're just clearing, 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 beginning to make space for next year, thinking about how we're going to lay everything out. We've got lots of flower farming workshops coming up. So um, do book a space. We have them online and here at the farm. We have lifestyle business workshops, social media, all sorts of bits and pieces. And then going forward, we have sort of um, wreath making and fun and japes in that department. Perhaps a little early to mention the C word. Um, so that means Christmas, by the way. <laughs> so if you're enjoying these clips and um, then do subscribe and uh, you can always buy me a coffee as a thank you. The link is in the bio. Uh, I'd be very grateful because it encourages me to make more clips. Um, yes, look, there's the gate. Can you see? You can just see the mulch there. What happens is we mulch the roses and then the birds come along and move it around, spread it out for us. And don't the roses like it? Yes, 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 they do. Here is more. That's, um, this is also rolled doll. Oh yes it is. And the yellow pipe going through, that's a uh, watering system. <laughs> oh yeah, we're very sophisticated here, I can tell you. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So thank you for watching. <laughs> Look, nettle, bing. Uh, but I've said it before and I've said it again. If you don't have nettles, you won't have butterflies. And if you don't look after the invertebrates, the rest of the food chain, including us, will suffer. Anyway, enough lecturing. I hope you've enjoyed this clip. Um, I now have to go to the school run. I made it early in the morning because it's going to be so hot today that I'm going to have to go and lie down in a darkened room. As you can see, 10 whole minutes later, I'm a little bit cooler, but uh, after the school run, I will give everybody a shower. Uh, everybody, me, a shower. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. Do press the bell icon. Feel free to buy me a coffee. The link is in the bio. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.